James here with the Oracle Outlook for the week starting February the 3rd, 2020. Thanks so much for tuning in and joining me for this week's video reading. If this is your first time here, I'd like to say welcome. And if you are returning, I'd like to say welcome back. This week I wanted to work with Lenormand and so the deck that's going to be assisting me for this week's reading is the Sienna Lenormand. It is by Lynn Boyle and I will be leaving information about the deck in the description box below. So once again, we are working with the Sienna Lenormand by Lynn Boyle. And now that I've set things up, let's get to the table and take a closer look at what the Sienna Lenormand wants to tell us about the week ahead. And here we are with the cards on the table and I'm gonna take a few moments to shuffle the deck. And as I shuffle, I'm focusing on my intention for these weekly general readings, and that is for the information, for the insight, for the guidance and advice to come through the cards. That is going to be most helpful and beneficial as we move through the upcoming week. So I'm shuffling that into the deck. Feeling one more time will be good. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck. And fan the cards out. And now I'm looking for five cards in the fan that are getting my attention. Because I've been enjoying working with the line of five layout. And I'm looking for the fifth and final card. All right, and so now I have the five cards selected, so I'm going to take the remainder of the deck and move that to one side. All right, and now I'm going to count back. Five, four, three, two, one. And lay out the cards from left to right in a line. All right, and when I work with a line of five, normally I like to start with the middle card. For me, the middle card always represents the central issue or what we're being asked to focus on for the week ahead. And the card is, and here we have clouds. So clouds, for me, my chief meaning of clouds can represent confusion, uncertainty, and doubt. So this could be a week where we are going to be challenged because clouds is the most challenging card in the deck. So we're gonna be challenged with this air of confusion uncertainty and doubt. So now the surrounding cards will tell us more about that when we look at them. Also, going with the literal sense, because Lenormand can be quite literal for me when I see clouds, clouds for me can represent a, like a cloudy day or inclement weather or even rainy weather. So this card is usually about the atmosphere or the air, so there may be something about that pertaining to the actual weather. So there's that to consider, and it may be about how can we navigate through that particular type of air or atmosphere or weather. Now, it could also be if we go with the more metaphorical um, aspect of cloudy days or inclement weather or even rainy weather, this card may suggest a storm. So it could just be a matter of maybe mentally, because the air can symbolically represent the mind. So there may be in our minds we're having to deal with maybe... Um, some sort of a turbulent time or a stormy time, and it's about how we are processing that experience. But again, going back to my very first impression, for me, clouds can always represent confusion, uncertainty, and doubt. Now, the one final thing I will say, with the playing card insert, we have the king of clubs. So this could also be focusing on a man, and there may be attributes of what I described with clouds um, that pertains to him. So this could be a man who's having issues with his mind or his memory even, 
or maybe a man who's uncertain, and it would be maybe a man who's uncertain about his position. I tend to look at clubs as having to do with either work or business, or it could also be a social suit. So it just could be a man who's uncertain about his place, his position. Kings represent um, power, control, and mastery. So he may be uncertain or unclear about his position in the business world or that he may be unclear or uncertain about his position in a particular social circle. So that's if we take the playing card aspect, the king of clubs, into account. So now let's move on to the surrounding cards to get more information. Back in the day when I started with Lenormand, when I worked with a line of five, I used to look at the immediately flanking cards to the center card to give us more detail. So I'm going to do that now because I haven't done that in a while. So... Taking a look at the card on the immediate left, okay, here we have the tree card, and the tree for me can represent health and healing, so there may be something going on with someone's memory, because here we have healing, the confusion, healing, the uncertainty, so it made me think that maybe somebody's dealing with, um, you know, a brain fog, a mental fog, mental haze, something along those lines, and we're working on healing that. Right? It could also be someone's ment mental health, if I go with that as a possibility too. So this could be a week, if we go with that as maybe more of a general message, then it could just be a matter of taking care of our mental well-being this week. Right Now, tree can also represent something having to do with family, and I tend to look at tree as extended family. So there may be something going on, some confusion or uncertainty, regarding one's extended family, right? So I'm seeing that because this would be family tree, extended family, and then we have confusion, uncertainty, and doubt. And going back to the king of clubs, and this could be maybe a person who is an extended family member, and there's something going on with that. Now, if this is about health, just maybe just general well-being, there may be something that needs to get cleared up because there's something that's either confusing or uncertain about that. So if it's not maybe pertaining to the mind or memory or anything like that, it could just be someone's um, health and well-being overall. There may be something that's confusing and uncertain about that. And so this is where I will put my disclaimer in. I'm not a doctor, so if this resonates with anyone watching this video, then the advice I would give you is that it may be time for you to seek um, the advice or the counsel or the guidance or direction of a medical professional. Right, so that's what I would see with tree. Tree for me can represent healing. Now, it can also represent, I was about to go on and it told me to stop. So this could also be about one's growth and development. So somebody may be at a place in their growth and development and there's some uncertainty or doubt. Right? It's making me feel like they may have planted the seeds because the tree can be about roots and they watch the growth and development but now they may be at a stage where now they're you know, unclear or unsure about where to go from here because I would retreat as branching out. So maybe they got to a certain place and now they're not sure how to branch out, which would mean move beyond where they're currently at. Right, so I'm seeing that with tree because tree can also represent growth and development. And now that could just be personal growth and development, you know, uh, growth and development with your life. But it can also be one spiritual growth and development. So that may take on either a personal or a spiritual context, but the end result would be, because of the order of cards, that there's something unclear or unsure about that. So now let's take a look at what's on the other side of clouds. And we have stars, yeah. So because of the confusion, there's a need for guidance and direction. That's my key keywords for stars, guidance and direction. It could also be that there's a need for inspiration. That's another one of my words for stars is inspiration. And maybe even a goal. I tend to look at stars in that regard as working with a life coach. So it could just be that maybe somebody is um, needing guidance and direction and one of the ways that that would be beneficial or you could get that would be working with a life coach. And it's funny because I said this would be about growth and development um, and maybe being at a particular cycle or particular stage in that development and needing some guidance or direction about that, right? Now, it could also be that somebody is thinking about wanting to work as a health coach, possibly. 
if I mirror tree and stars or star, right? That could be um, health coaching, right? If this is life coaching and this is health and well-being, health and healing, then there may be that, right? So, or somebody is thinking about maybe spiritual healing and they're not sure about the direction to move in with that. Stars for me could represent in the spiritual context something that represents like the universe or something metaphysical or something esoteric, that kind of thing. For me, it's, I tend to look at stars as a divination card. If you go with the idea that there are stars on the card, then the most common metaphysical science that this card would describe would be astrology. But there are many forms of metaphysical sciences, so I usually widen that to all types of metaphysical sciences, right? So that would include things like numerology, tarot, card reading in general, or, or you know maybe a specific system, those kinds of things. So there may be even seeking guidance or direction through maybe a, a divinatory tool or a divinatory system, that kind of thing. Now the one other thing I will say, and again I'm, I'm wanting to put out my disclaimer that I am not a doctor, but sometimes stars can show something that is spreading. So if we go with the idea that there's something going on about someone's either physical well-being or mental well-being, then there's a chance that something is spreading. And so again, if that resonates, then um, my advice again would be to see a medical professional about that. If you're, that would be assuming you're not already under the care or guidance or direction of a medical professional. Right, but sometimes stars in that sense can represent something that's being spread. But my chief thing here is I'm seeing the three cards talking about maybe just in a place of either spiritual growth and development or you know at a certain stage in your own personal life development that there's some uncertainty or confusion about where you are and you're seeking some guidance and direction that would help you move forward. And one of the things that may be helpful is establishing a goal of some kind. You know, what at this place in your in your life, at this stage in your life, what inspires you? Right? It would be taking a look at that. I'm thinking it's about checking in with what inspires you. So now let's take a look at the outer cards. Usually for me, once we establish what the inner three cards are, the outer cards usually can tell us something about how the situation being presented might resolve itself. So taking a look at the card on the far left, opening line up, we have coffin. Okay, so here we have, interesting, we have coffin and we have tree. So there is something going on regarding an illness, right? Because here we have, if we read the cards, the two cards, we have limitation and restriction of health and well-being, right? So there is one possibility. And again, it may be something having to do with the mind or something on, an, uh, on the mental level or of a mental nature. I'm seeing that. And it can also be illness, right? And so here we have an illness that needs healing. And it could be with the two cards based on whatever the condition is, with, there may be some uncertainty about how to move forward with that. So that's the physical well-being aspect. I'm thinking that if we go with the idea that coffin can also represent limitation and restriction of, you know, one's growth and development, if I, again, going back to the cards, reading them as a pair, then it could be that we are finding ourselves in a rut and we may be experiencing a sense of like nothing's happening or we're not going anywhere, that kind of thing. It could also be that for me, I tend to look at coffin as a resting place. And so if this is about healing and the healing process, someone may need to get some more rest this week, right? Because I'm seeing this as rest for healing or rest that leads to healing, right? So there are a few ways to look at that, but that is coffin, right? Now, coffin could also mean that if we go with the idea that this is one of the cards that's talking about how the situation could resolve itself, then this card is about ending something, completing something, finalizing something. Right? So I'm seeing that as well. Now, this just came to me because I was looking at the card and the image of a box came to my mind. I sometimes read coffin as a storage um, unit and sometimes this could be a box. 
you know, I tend to look at it, and with the tree, it, it's a wooden box, right? I'm, I'm looking at the way the box is being described, but it's making me feel that this may be for some people a time to kind of maybe come out of the box, if you will, and this, because this card is about branching out, and then when I sometimes read the Seven of Hearts with the tree, I sometimes read it as developing connections. For So for someone, they're being inclined to come out of their box, right? And I will also say this, going with that idea of coming out of the box, it's making me feel with extended family in particular for someone, it may be time to come out of the box that family has put you in. This could be limitation and restriction that is either self-imposed, meaning that we're doing it to ourselves, or in this particular case, it may be imposed by certain family members, right, who are influencing this, um, this type of energy. Now, the only other thing I will say, going with the idea that this is about physical well-being or just well-being overall, sometimes I see coffin and clouds as headaches. A coffin in particular is a headache card. So this could just be literally somebody is maybe needing to deal with headaches or migraines, right, and getting some guidance on that. Or that someone is dealing with um, a stage of depression because clouds in this regard can represent depression and needing to move beyond that. So again, if any of those resonate, then my um, advice would be to seek the counsel of somebody who can help you move through that. And that comes back to stars. Now, I'm coming back to coughing in the headache um, scenario. So that could be literal headaches or we're just dealing with the metaphorical headaches in life, right? You know, the idea like, you know, we say, metaphorically speaking, um, you're giving me a headache or this is giving me a headache, that kind of thing. Or this is making my head hurt kind of thing. So that could be in the metaphorical sense and needing to move beyond that. So that's one way of looking at coffin. So now let's take a look at the card on the opposite end of the line. And here we have dog. Okay. So dog is a card that can represent a friend or a partner. So there's something about maybe a relationship with another person, a friendship or a partnership. And now if we mirror the cards here, we have either limitation and restriction of a friendship or a partnership or the end or completion of a friendship or a partnership. Right, and so that may be where the uncertainty is. If we read the cards from left to right going forward, here we have uncertainty. And again, the king of clubs you know, maybe having to deal with a man in particular, you know, we're not sure of the direction of this particular friendship or this particular relationship. Now, it can also be that there may be a pet going with dog. For me, dog can represent either dogs in the literal sense or domesticated animals. So there may be for some pet owner, there may be something going on with your pet and you're seeking guidance or direction on that. And again, it could be regarding maybe some condition with the animal, their well-being, and we're not sure either what's going on or how to um, best move through it, meaning getting to the other side of it, right? And then if that's the case, then dog in this case would represent help, support, and advice and I find that especially significant because it comes after star and one of the things that I said star can represent a life coach somebody who assists us or offers guidance in the spiritual or metaphysical sense this card can represent a guru so it will be somebody who's got some kind of experience who can help us and they would help us by offering us help support or advice now, for some people, dog can also represent faith and faithfulness, trust and trustworthiness, and loyalty. So if we go back to the idea that either tree can be talking about extended family or that the king of clubs can represent a man, then there may be something having to do with faithfulness, loyalty, or trust in a particular friendship or companionship that we are uncertain about and we are seeking some guidance and direction on. 
Now I will say this, when I see dog, if we're talking about faithfulness, then this could just be asking us to keep the faith since it's the last card in the line, right? And if we mirror the cards in here, we have maybe limitation and restriction of faith, of loyalty, and of trust. But I'm saying like, you know, how can we move beyond the limitation and restriction of faith? Now, it could also be, if we go with the order of the cards, because the guidance and direction is sought and may be found and we, and we are inspired, then maybe there's a restoration of faith, going back to dog. You know, it's making me feel with these two cards, it could be that faith is being restored. Because if I read star and dog as a pair, here we have maybe inspiration, the inspiration of a friend, the inspiration of a partner that maybe helps with the faith and the loyalty and the trust. So on that note, I will go ahead and end this week's Oracle Outlook here. I'm James Tim Mitchell, and I'd like to thank you for sharing space here with me for this week's reading. And I look forward to sharing the same space with you again in our next video reading together. So until then, I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I hope that you have a wonderful week. Take care.